Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather, and I'm toothless today. <laughs> I'm actually working on my soft reline. Now my soft reline was starting to come up. Listen, how you know you need a new soft reline is when the edge of your denture, I'm going to show you without dropping it, the edge of your denture starts lifting up. Focus. Well, I'll show you in a minute. But it starts lifting up and it becomes a hot mess. Bacteria can get up in there and all that, and I want to get it up as soon as possible. Um, because I noticed my soft free lines off scratching the roof of my mouth. So I'm going to try to get this out. What you want to do is you want to soak it in hot water um, to loosen it up. I might have to do this a couple of times. You probably won't see me fully get it off, but I'm just going to give you a heads up on how you can get it off at home. So I'm going to put this down. You won't see me for a minute. All right, hopefully I don't drop my phone. So, see... Focus. Okay. Well, this side you can see. All this is lifting. And all this. So what I would normally do. Um, actually, this side's way worse. Is. See how I can grab it with the tweezer. And I'm pulling it off. That's when you know your real line needs to come out. Um, so what I would normally do. Is one. Take your tweezer and clean it with alcohol. Ba -da -da. You want everything clean. Now, everybody's always asked me how I can get my rear line out. I hate doing this. It's annoying. It's a pain in my butt. I hate it with a passion. But <laughs> it needs to be done. Um, I did put more hot water in there because I'm probably going to have to soak it more. But what you want to do is you kind of want to work out the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you want to work out the edges. Now this is going to take a hot minute guys. Like I'm not even playing because when the edges get all crappy. Like this has been in here for a long time. When you do your reline it right it's in there for months. Now you want to be careful not to break your denture. I hate doing this because I'm always afraid to break my denture. But see how I got some of that out? It lifts right out. Um, but when you soak it in hot water, it does come out. Ooh, that's a big chunk coming out. Let's see if you guys can see it. See how I'm lifting it up? And pulling it? Yeah. So normally people say, oh, it comes right out. They lie. Hold on, you got to see my face. They lie. They lie. It does not easily just pop out. Unless you're using cushion grip, which is not even a soft reliner. Um, no reline it comes out no reline comes out easily unless it wasn't done properly if it comes out easily that means bacteria is all up in there it festers every liquids in there and it is that much easy to break through and that should have been out a long time ago then or done properly um so no they are not easy to come out they're actually a big pain in the butt to come out um when done properly so you always have to make sure you do your denture Ow. Reline. By the way, it hurts to do this when you pull. Because sometimes I pull too hard, which I shouldn't. But all you have to do, and I'm going to show you guys, is you take your tweezer. I don't know how well you can see. Because focusing is a pain. But you stick it in between. Hmm. I want to see if I can get the light in here better. It's not that easy. Okay. See how you see the reline it coming up? You put one end of the tweezer underneath the reline, the other one you're pinching. And all you do is you slowly work. Go further in, pinch up. Further in, pinch up. And you want to work it out. I'm going to be here until probably Christmas. Um, I won't be surprised if you see me toothless in a few videos. Ow! Um, because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get this out. But it's actually working better than my last one. Do you know what I gotta say? The worst part to get the adhesive off, I mean the uh, realign it, is the freaking palette. Because it's a super thin layer and it's like embedded in there. So yeah, this is gonna be a while. I might be up till like 3 in the morning and work on it more tomorrow. Um, because I do mine very well. And then I trim it really well. See, I don't know if you guys can see. 
See? Now it's going slowly back down. Because it's like a cushion. But anyway, you work a little bit, work a little bit, work a little bit. Because so many people ask, how do you get this off? Soaking in hot water is not enough, but it does help lift it. You want to make sure you do not break your denture, guys. Like, be very, very careful. But, I don't know if you can see this. Because it's not easy to focus the camera when I'm moving. I'm actually surprised on how, like, it's lifting so easily out here. But food gets, listen, see that big gap? Food gets up in there, guys. So if it was that loose, then that means I'm going to clean the crap out of my denture when I get all this off. Okay, see how it's folded back? So you, I'm probably going to soak it a little more. I'm going to get more loose stuff off, do my thing. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how to do this um, because so many people have asked me. Now, again, it's not that easy to show you guys with the camera like this. It really isn't. I actually try to have my light more in here um, but it's really not that easy I'm on my kitchen counter because it's the sturdiest spot I can show you guys see look at that lift up using tweezers is the best because you can pinch pull pinch pull and it's like putty ow this is totally bloopers <laughs> you guys know me I'm all about the bloopers but I told you guys the palette's way harder so working it this way is way easier. Be very careful. Like, no joke. I'm going to be here for a hot minute. But I noticed it was starting to lift, and it, the reline was actually starting to dry out on the edges. And I was like, all right, time to do it again. So um, tomorrow, because it is nighttime right now, I'll probably do the reline. Which I've done a video, but I'll do it again. But... Um... Yeah, all you do is pinch, pull, pinch, pull, pinch, pull. You get you get what I'm saying. But remember, when it's so, when it's too hard to get out, stick it in hot water. It'll soften the reline. Um, I want to get ow. I want to get off this piece to show you guys how hard it is, and how it's dried out. Like when you're when you see your reline. Hold on, I'm gonna pull this off. When you see your reline starting to discolor. I don't know if you can see that. See the discoloring on the outside edges and all that? That's your food staining it, and it's drying out. Like, it's hard and it's soft here. So, um, I am try to be as careful as I can, guys. But tweezers is the best way to do it, because there's so many people, like, saying, oh, you know, it's so hard to get it out. It is going to be hard to get out. People are like, oh, you know, people are saying how easy it is. It is not easy. If it is easy, they never did it right. They absolutely never did it right. Because if it was so easy to come out, then that means it was so easy for water and food to get in there. So that alone should show you. And I knew mine was lifting and it was time to come out. How's this side? Mm. Well, this side's not going to be easy now, is it? Alright, so you guys get the point. I'm going to stick this in more hot water. That's not hot enough. Like, you don't want to put it on scalding hot, guys, but you want to put it on hot. Like, because you want to melt and, and soften it. So, your life is way easier. So, again, all you have to do is grab, pull, grab, pull, and eventually you'll get it out. But it is a process, and it is a big royal pain in the butt to get reline out. Um, but I'd rather have my dentures fitted, and I want to stop bacteria. Now... You guys need to understand, you want to not have bacteria inside your denture. So, replace your reline as often as you can. I had mine in for a couple of months, but when you start seeing it lift on the edges, and, um, you know, you see discoloration, replace it. Because bacteria is getting in there. Um, I noticed it the other day, and I was like, oh, I was holding off on it. And tonight, I was like, it's got to come out. It has to, because I don't want any more infections. Nobody does, so when I get all of it out, I am going to soak it in a good antibacterial, Dr. B's, um, his Kleenex, uh, Kleenex crystals I'm going to be using, kill the staph, anything in there, rinse it, dry it, and then do my reline, but um, I'll do that in another video. So I just want to let you guys know how to take out soft reliner, 
Um, so if anybody says, hey, it's easy, that means you never did it right. And if it was easy to come out, that means it was easy for food and bacteria and everything to get in there. So please make sure that you follow the directions. And always make sure you get off as much reline, um, soft reliner as possible along the edge of your dentures. Because then it hangs over, it sticks out, bacteria comes right inside of it. So you don't want to do that. But I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Stay safe. God bless. Later, guys.